Welcome to the Green API channel. In this video, we will analyze the operation of the WhatsApp demo bot in Python using the WhatsApp chatbot Python library. In the previous video, we looked at the process of writing your bot, created several pages, and tested the bot's operation. Today, we will launch the demo chatbot and visually demonstrate the WhatsApp chatbot Python library's operation. You can also independently test the demo chatbot's operation on the main page of the website. To get started, you will need to download the archive demo chatbot python-main.zip and unpack it. If you have experience using Git, you can also copy the project using this command. After obtaining the source files, open the folder and execute the command python m pip install requirements.txt for automatic installation of the necessary modules. This will install the modules and libraries needed for the chatbot to work correctly. After successfully executing this command, your environment will be ready to launch the WhatsApp demo chatbot. To get started with the example, you will need ID instance and API token instance. You can find them in your Green API personal account. For testing the chatbot, you can use the free developer tariff. Create an instance on the developer, tariff and link your account to the instance by scanning the QR code in your personal account. Add your ID instance and API token instance to the Green API bot constructor. If all notification settings are turned off by default, the bot will automatically enable the following settings, which are responsible for receiving notifications about incoming and outgoing messages. The process of changing settings takes no more than five minutes, during which time the bot may not respond to incoming messages. Now you can proceed to launch the bot. To start, click on the triangle in the upper right corner of the screen. The bot responds to any message with a choice of language, English or Russian. After choosing a language, the bot provides various sending methods, text message, file, image, contact, and geolocation in your chosen language. The sender needs to choose a number from the list to check how the sending method works. When choosing one, the user will receive a text message through the send message method. When choosing the number two, the bot will send a file using the send file by URL method and send a link to this method. If the number three is sent, the bot will send an image and a link to the previous send file by URL method. When choosing the number four, the bot will send your contact details in the chat using the send contact method with a link to the method documentation. And after receiving the number five, the chatbot from Green API will send a geolocation using the send contact method. The user can request the menu by sending a message with the keyword menu. By sending stop, the user will end the conversation with the chatbot and receive the following message. If no dialogue with the chatbot is conducted for two minutes, the next conversation will start with a language choice request, where you will need to indicate your preferred language of communication. Let's stop our chatbot by pressing the red square. By default, the chatbot sends images and files through the send file by URL method using links to download files from the network. However, users can add a link to a file themselves. To add a link to a file of any extension, use URL file equals, and also specify the file name using file name equals. The file name should include the extension, for example, sumfile.pdf. Now, let's try to create our own function with a new link and caption. We'll copy function three. Change the function's trigger number to six. Make the function unique by changing option three to option six. Put our own link to the image. Change the file name. To change the text, it's necessary to open the data file. Add number six to the bots menu here. And create new data with a caption for the photo. Save changes through the Control-S key combination. 
Now let's change the text data in our new function. Save changes in the bot file through the Control S key combination. Let's launch our bot again and test it. Thank you for watching. Now you have a working Python demo chatbot using Green API Library. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to contact our support team.